Good day everyone and welcome to the third video presentation. For this video presentation, we will be discussing about the elements of a short story, particularly plot, conflict, theme, mood, tone, and author's purpose. This lesson aims to have the following learning targets. Explain how the elements specific to a genre contribute to the theme of a particular literary selection. Evaluate literature as a way of expressing and resolving one's personal conflicts. Determine tone, mood, technique, and purpose of the author. What does plot mean in a story? Looks like the whole class wants the answer. You are very participative. Superb! A plot is defined as the series of events in the story that is developed through cause and effect relationship. This is how Freytag Experiment looks like. A German playwright and literary analyst proposed a certain figure that illustrates how a plot develops. It is called the Freytag's Pyramid. It is based upon Aristotle's model of the events in a tragedy. Let us start at the beginning part of Freytag's Pyramid, which is called Exposition. Exposition is also referred to as the beginning of the story. It introduces the reader to some of the characters. At this age, the reader will know who the protagonist is or what we call as major character, particularly his goals and motivations. In most cases, the exposition also contains the inciting incident, which is the initial conflict encountered by the protagonist, which brings about the development of the subsequent events. After the exposition, it would be followed by rising action. Rising action refers to the building up of events or the entanglement of actions leading to the climax. This series of events contain the other conflicts, which may either be trivial or major, but will expose the readers to the real personality of the major character. Even in real-life situations or real-life stories, conflicts are inevitable. Conflicts are the problems encountered by the major character in the story. It may be internal, when it occurs only in the mind of the character, or external when it is an outside force that hinders the success of the protagonist in achieving his goal. We are now at the topmost part of Freytag's Pyramid which is called Climax. Climax is the turning point of the story. It is when the protagonist makes a major decision that may bring him toward the realization of what he is fighting for or his utter downfall. At this point, the reader will understand that in life, there is always a struggle between good and evil as manifested by the clash between the protagonist and the antagonist. If a protagonist loses the battle, it may be the result of a certain problem in his psyche, which is referred to as his tragic flaw, which is often a consequence of hubris or excessive pride or self-confidence. We are now at the finality of all actions, which most of time showing the readers that good always triumph over evil. It is falling action. Of course, every story has its end. Let's now proceed to the final part of Freytag's Pyramid, which is called Zinuman or Resolution. Resolution contains the revelation of what happens to the main characters. It is the moment when the resolution is achieved, bringing the readers to the moment of catharsis. Catharsis, the emotional discharge or release achieved by the readers after having been under tension as he reads through the story. At this moment, let me discuss to you about tone and mood. 
tone and mood of both deal with the emotions centered around a piece of writing. Though they seem similar and can in fact be related casually, they are in fact quite different. Mood is the feeling you get while reading a story. This could be happiness, sadness, darkness, anger, suspicion, loneliness, or even excitement. You can think of mood as the atmosphere of the story. To describe mood, you should think about the setting and the language used by the author. It is focused on the effect on the reader. What about tone? When we say tone, it is the author's attitude toward a subject. The tone can be identified by looking at word choices in phrases. Take time to look at the language. An author uses words to create meaning. For example, a dog described as a lovable puppy is positive, but once a character is described as a fierce fighter, it is frightening. Tone is focused on the author's emotion. Everybody has purpose, right? Even author who writes stories. What is an author's purpose? When we say author's purpose, it is the reason why and how the text was written. It can be the main purpose for the selection or the author's reasons for including elements within the text. It answers the question, why does the author write such literary work? What are his reasons? What about narrative techniques? Also known as literary devices, narrative techniques provide deeper meaning for the reader and help the reader to use imagination to visualize situations. Common techniques relevant to style or the language chosen to tell a story include metaphors, similes, personification, imagery, hyperbole, and alliteration. In short, it is more of the use of figures of speech. That's all for today's class. Thank you for listening.